actually taking CT and from there running all the way to A. This is this is kind of honky blue phoenix spots to clear out towards water. And then now finally going to be heading towards B has NIP. They haven't seen anyone yet. Max is pushing it from Temple. He's going to join his teammates. And this is a very unorthodox pistol round coming out from the T's. But it's been heard. There is Blue Phoenix tucked in underneath the bridge. I don't, I don't think it's heard him. This is a free kill for R2B2. Really surprised Blue Phoenix did convey the fact that there is a player there. R2B2. Find Alex, and this could be the first round here early on for God's reign. Rez left him. Position known as not going to be easy for him. Not that, a hole in towards mid. Rez taking advantage. It was a big deal, and he's going to be found out. Does he fall back to a CT? I. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's not it. That's not it. Ninjas are still waiting. Yum, nice find on Rez. That should give them the. And we still have R two D two waiting towards B here. Oh, that's such a huge find. So patient here from the T's. And now they know. They know where the AWP is. They know they've taken down the A anchor. The nade comes in a second too late. Tough for him to save the AWP. He's expecting the push coming in from the other end. But all the players are ganging up right behind him. Kachin never had a chance to have even a single duel with them. Maybe a practice scrim over there. And therefore, it is tough for them to break this down. But... Looks like maybe an opportunity. Maxter and Wrinkle tagging together. This is the show we were talking about. Wrinkle and Maxter, the players we were always looking forward to of what they can do. And it's going to be Wrinkle finding one on site. Fountain being cleared. There's going to be one at Acorn and another towards Heaven. It's not going to be easy. But in the meantime, Blue Phoenix. He finds one as he was moving towards mid and make it another. That's oh. going to be the AWP. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we did say if there was going to be a bit of an upset. Not the other map pick, but yeah, really... Watch as Rez is going to be tested. Finds one. He's alone. Rez with three. That's putting the players down. That's going to be the bomb also being dropped. Maxter fighting his own duel out at B. And along with that, more players moving in from Temple as well as from Long. Fired Up needs to win this duel as fast as possible. Ow. That doesn't happen. Because you're, you're usually 90% of the time going to start on the CT side. You pick the map, your, your opponent's going to be picking the T side. Yeah. And if you don't get off to a good start, right? If you don't win the pistol and you're not able to start building economy, it can spiral up. That's kind of what's happened here. I don't want to say that's the only reason. I think, obviously, they're being very comprehensively outplayed here by NIP. A couple of shots coming in. And Alex will finish it off. That is going to be a very, very, very convincing, the most convincing win we've seen here thus far at the Sky Esports Masters 2024. Made to a jag, but the read is on. Boom, spots out Yum rather, spots out a player. It taps away, but Blue Phoenix opening it up. Fired up's going to be taken down, and Yum getting gushed. I'm not sure if it's Voom or Yoom, because uh, on HLTV it is Yoom. But it's Voom. I'm gonna stick with HLTV. I'm guessing it's Yoom and oh, 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 flurry of kills. A sense of optimism and excitement mm -hmm. coming in from the team as Bobby. Take the fight, Nade, sail in. That's a nice opening pick. Fight towards mid, but because of the heavy presence from the CTs at mid, NIP gonna be charging in towards B. Bobby will be found. R2B2. Alone towards the site, but his timing for Finn could be pushed up. They have donut control now. R2B2 doesn't. Wait. He tries to hard clear the corner, but before that, Maxter was quick. But now Maxter's position is known. But he's worried. You might be close for him. He doesn't yet swing that triple. But once he swings, he finds. He but Finn has plant. Meaning, even if Alex goes down, that's going to be extra cash coming in. He does go down, but God's Rain find the first. They just put down utils rather than battle the damage on themselves. But R2B2. That's a quick fight from they, they, they know the gods are in going for this heavy presence towards this middle part of the map. You egress for the CT. Coming in. Oh no, Finn walks in through the smoke. It's not ideal as Alex picks up fire up as well and he is aware where the final player is. Rez tapping the head. Yeah. Nothing to lose. You're, you're the massive underdogs. You're down 8 and 1. You lost the first round 13 and 1. Just, just try something a little bit more aggressive in your face. This is a good combo there. Good utility from the B players, although never mind. Maxter still finds a couple. R2B2. A little bit of information, but 
Blue Phoenix is stuck. Both of them stationed at long. Smoking off ramp and that is going to be brilliant coming in from their end. They do try and smoke out long as well. Flop great. Will they find value? Maxter right in ahead of it. Does get cleaned off and now it's all up to wrinkle on a 1v3 situation here. The bomb through the smoke getting diffused. But he's trying to spam. Doesn't connect a single one. Now oh! the knife. He gets one on R2B2. Oh no. <laughs> the round's done. <laughs> Oh, he just yeah, likes it. This is against uh, the Falcon with a stand in. It is exciting. Play coming in towards A. Wrinkle making contact. He will fall, but Alex still standing. Trades are back and forth a 3v3. Probably holding Temple for now, but the CT needs to be still stopped. But through the smoke, Max, the Phoenix also finds one, and now it's all down to Yum. They've not even gotten the plant. They were so worried about the push. Yum does stop at Temple. That's going to be Blue Phoenix down. However, doesn't have the bomb out in the open for the CTs to take complete control of it. And look at Rez with a dual ace. However, he fails the reload. And this is an opportunity here to swing. Maxter in a 1v1 situation has been tagged up. But does he win the duel? No. Yume, a big clutch coming in here for God. Still waiting. He doesn't have to worry about heaven. He's got his teammates there. And I like the double push happening towards a, a main. Now, Rainbow finds the first. Finn will fall. But the B bomb site has been claimed by the T's as Bobby finds Blue Phoenix. And that should be the call for the save. Keep the tree alive as well. Not too, not too sure about the hunt here, boys. Uh, not too sure about the yeah. hunt. Yeah, money's not the best. I mean, 900 on R2B2 over there, just a 50 on fired up. And as you said, should go for the hunt and finally they do put a NIP oh. to keep four alive. Yeah, the only death they suffered was a TK. So that is so unfortunate. And now. Because of how many players they lost the previous round, this could be it. This could be all she wrote for God. Oh, and that's going to be R2B2 with a flash. You, but the position. Oh, Alex doesn't win that duel. That's going to be a nice find. They might just get the plan, but it's going to be a tough 2v3 to fight with. But R2B2 is making the wrinkle who's trying to push up. He has the op, and he wins that. You. Immediate trade coming in from R2B2. He brings it down to another 1v1 situation here. Needs to win the duel, but that is going to be the end. Maxter seals the deal, does have the kit, will get the diffuse, and that is going to be 13 5. A little hope coming through. Nice try in that round as well to bring it from a 2v4 to a 1v1 situation towards the end. Yeah, but yeah it was not far long left.